we must demand that the extremely wealthy pay their fair share period Lucky. i keep forgetting that you're still alive out of the 144,000 uh, people that like this tweet every single one of them is a broke boy a loser and will never be successful under capitalism and low-key kind of deserve it like 144,000 people and probably all of them deserve the the material conditions that they're subjected to they just fight actively to be in that situation you love licking the boot you've made a whole ass meal out of the boot you know you do you deserve a lifetime of wage cucking you deserve a lifetime of being sad that your manager fucks you and you deserve a lifetime of like redirecting that anger towards like whatever marginalized community other hogs so tell you is actually responsible for your plight you are going to live a life of quiet desperation if you're lucky you're going to live in a suburb maybe have a house and a wife that no longer wants to fuck you and fuck the pool boy instead and that's the rest of your life you're gonna literally barely make ends meet and put enough money in your 401k that like hopefully you can retire by 70 but at that point i mean are you going to be able to retire probably not okay and hey guess what you deserve it you literally you are begging for it if only we unshackled the restrictions off this capitalist government bullshit like oh man in that free market economy bro i would be killing it like i'd be the factory owner no the fuck you wouldn't you absolutely won't you're the slave you're not the factory owner you're the slave you're the slave now if you're the slave right now what makes you the think those bosses once there are no fucking restrictions whatsoever what makes you think they're not going to make you even a bigger slave okay they're going to enslave your entire family that's it you're an idiot we can't ratio Elon Musk. He has like deranged people that follow him. Bernie is harmless, dude. Okay. He's a harmless old man who has dedicated his entire fucking life to socialism. If you hate Bernie Sanders, whether you're a fucking, uh, you know, scummy, vulturous, blood sucking, parasitic capitalist, or whether you're like a leftist who wants to fucking make a, make a name for themselves or whatever the fuck, you're a scumbag. Ultimately, he's, he's literally harmless. He can't even harm you as a capital owner. So like, I don't know. He's just a good person. There is. That's it. He's a good person with good values. Yeah, and he's lived by those values his entire fucking life. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like other than like, getting mad at someone like Bernie Sanders, who says we must demand that the extremely wealthy pay their fair share, period. Like how the fuck do you get mad at that? It's almost worth losing the earth to climate change if it takes Elon Musk out. <laughs> she did not say that, but I do. I'm so fucking conflicted because like I advocate for, uh, you know, renewable energy initiatives, but like, the poster boy for renewable energy initiatives is fucking Elon Musk. I feel like every time I advocate to shift resources away from like fossil fuels over to fucking uh, green energy, every single time, you it makes sound. me feel like I'm giving him more money. Like I'm literally directly advocating to give him more money. His businesses are entirely reliant, entirely fucking reliant on getting uh, government subsidies. You've I wonder what's stressing him out. Simps, dude. The NPCs keep spamming him. Down. So Thanks, go after man. Bernie for no reason. No reason you say you have not been paying attention, my sweet summer child. P.S. Bernie is the high sparrow. He just sold, sold a shit ton of stock to pay taxes. He's the richest man in the world. So I get why he got triggered by Bernie's tweet. A little bit harsh in my opinion. Yeah, I love that. I love that people think that like their tweets actually matter in Elon Musk selling Tesla stock. When like in reality, it's not your fucking tweets that got him to sell the Tesla stock. Okay. He scheduled them a billion dollars worth of stocks on Monday, like weeks before. What's really fucked up is Kimball Musk, Elon Musk's brother, sold a hundred million dollars worth of tesla stock before elon musk came out with that twitter poll the real fucking bullshit is that elon musk's brother kimball musk is the one who actually sold a hundred million dollars worth of tesla stock literally before elon musk tweeted out that he was going to sell it whenever i have this conversation with someone like chris who is literally a fucking wall street boy okay i love him but whenever i have a conversation with him about this he's like dude are you kidding me the SEC is like up their asses. That's such a blatant, like that would be such blatant insider trading. Like no one would be that stupid to fucking manipulate the market. And like, uh, no one would be that stupid uh, Sean, because the SEC son, scrutiny yes, the is like too fucking West infallible. I'm like, the no. And then he will literally follow it up by being like, you know, he's been, in, he's been under trouble. You know, he's been in hot water with the SEC before. He's had to pay like fines before to the SEC. I'm like, you literally just showed me why they don't care. They they dominate the SEC. They straight up don't care. That's the whole point. Like you just admitted that like they literally pay off like a fucking 100k fine and then move on.
This is a great reply from Bernie's majority staff director for budget chairman. Oh, Warren Gunnels. Funny, because I'll never forget that you'd be worth zero without billions in corporate welfare while paying zero in federal income tax in 2018 and becoming $260 billion richer during the pandemic. Yes, Elon loves corporate socialism for himself, rugged capitalism for the rest. It's true. It's crazy to me that he acts like government subsidies aren't built into his fucking stock prices or built into his profit margins at like every single company he works at from literally the most successful one being Tesla to less successful but still very successful SpaceX all the way down to unsuccessful ones like solar flare or whatever the fucking the, the, the solar panel business that he had that he fucking created with his brother that is like a disaster. Solar City. Every single fucking business that he has is only alive as a consequence of government subsidies, dude. The boring company is supposed to make tunnels and shit, but like not real tunnels, only Tesla coded tunnels, whatever. It's so stupid. So him shitting on fucking taxes is so weird. Elon to his infant child. Oh, that's good as fuck. That's funny. Good job, Ken. Look, here's the thing. Elon Musk is in renewable energy, okay? Elon Musk has also, he didn't invent the EV, but he certainly played a significant role in popularizing it. Okay, these are things I admit. These are things I readily admit. It, it pains me to do so because I fucking despise him, but I still admit it. If he were to say, look, I'm a billionaire and I'm literally a billionaire because these companies are fucking overvalued and it's because my assets are tied. Oh, well, he wouldn't say that. He wouldn't say that these are overvalued, but um, you know, my assets are tied to my stock prices and that's why I'm a billionaire. But like, I'm a billionaire that fucking, uh, you know, takes advantage of government subsidies, but I'm doing something nice. All these other fucking billionaires are billionaires while, uh, you know, they're destroying the planet, okay? I'm at least like in the forefront, in the cutting edge of like renewable energy and trying to make it so it's like more marketable, trying to make it so it's better. We're investing money into the R&D side of things. If you were to say shit like that, I'd be like, all right, you know, I fucking still despise him for the workplace safety conditions and shit like that. And the fact that he's a billionaire, but like ultimately I would just be like, all right, you know, he's better than the other ones. But he's like, no, I'm just going to be a fucking asshole. I'm going to be the biggest fucking douchebag I can. I'm going to take all the money from the government and then I'm going to get my simps to fucking turn around and be like, ha ha. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. Fuck the government teat, dude. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like, dude, you're literally emptying out your own coffers because you know full well that like you're still going to get money from the government no matter what. All right. Here's Abby Martin oh. fucking cumstering, uh, Nancy Pelosi. Wait a minute. Wait, I want a woman. I want a woman. A woman. A woman. A woman. Yeah. That's what you get, dude. Abby Martin with the empire files. Speaker Pelosi, you just presided over a, a large increase in the Pentagon budget. This Pentagon budget is already massive. The Pentagon is a larger polluter than 140 countries combined. How can we seriously talk about net zero if there is this bipartisan consensus to constantly expand this large contributor to climate change, which is exempt from these conferences military is exempt from climate talks oh my fucking lord she's like ah just kidding i fucking hate women <laughs> nancy pelosi be like uh it, women are whores please stop uh, should not be in the fucking room with men actually i've decided friend of the show abby martin destroys nancy pelosi she's about to start posting like a fucking incel uh, uh sjw uh, uh, anti-SJW YouTube essayist. And I am not a defense person, but I've had so many talks with the Defense Department, with the Navy in particular, about how they have to respond to what's going on. So I really do think that there is no reason why what we're putting together, you know, Build Back Better and other things, can't respond to the Defense Department and, and, and have the same impact in terms of reducing emissions. And I do think that the Defense Department is very much aware of the fact that they have to play a major role. Did, did they not hear the question? Like, did you just not, or did you hear the question and just completely avoid it on purpose, like deliberately? What the fuck happened there? What a wild scenario where homie just straight deflected, dude. Does he have the deflect cream? He is deflecting blue light. National security advisors all tell us that the climate crisis is a national security matter. Like the immediate answer to that is fucking uh, Elizabeth Warren. You know what I mean? Like the Elizabeth Warren style. We need to have a green military, not just in camouflage, but also in the carbon footprint. So when we're fucking eviscerating 
brown children in Pakistan from thousands of miles away with hellfire missiles, you best believe that the carbon footprint is going to be reduced. Also, we're technically reducing the carbon footprint in the secondary capacity by killing people. Humans are major consumers. You guys know this already. Of course, we're not doing this in the developed world. We're doing this to people that literally uh, their entire consumption uh, is not even uh, carbon footprint is not even like one day in a single American's fridge. But uh, still, even then, you got to make uh, you, you got to make fucking gains wherever you can. You know, it is a national security issue because of the uh, conditions that climate crisis produces. I won't go into all of them, but they do ca are cause for migration, conflict over habitat and resources. Um, I've been saying this for fucking years, bro. I mean, it's it's going to happen. It's already happening. Yes. Nancy Pelosi is saying climate change is a national security risk because of climate refugees. And they're going to say it. They're going to say it more. They're going to say it louder and louder, by the way. And it's true. Like, it's not a national security risk, but it will be perceived as a national security risk. And it actually could become a fucking national security risk. If we're being honest, if you have a bunch of understanding pissed off fucking people living in the developed world that are like you guys fucked our country over now open your goddamn doors because it is not even habitable back there then uh, you know eco-fascism is upon us we have to stop it as a national security issue and one way to do that is to stop our dependence on fossil fuels we're gonna make ev tanks we need to make tanks that are uh, electric that's why we are giving Tesla seven gorillion dollars so they can make electric tanks. Of course, that's pretty hilarious. And that will turn into uh, an unironic anti-imperialist act because Teslas are fucking dog shit and they will light on fire and end up, you know, ruining America's imperialist endeavors. So I look forward to that in the future. That's right, dude. Based anti-imperialist uh, uh, Tesla.